Alright, so I'm going to try to explain to you because I know it can be frustrating um, from the initial steps what to do with the inf files for your video card. So let's check it out. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to do it handheld because I just don't want to deal with doing it on screen recording. Once you download the driver from the NVIDIA webpage, I assume you already have that ready. Um, it's going to be probably like a seven minute long video. Let's see. Once you have here, you're going to choose your G4s, your model, everything, your Windows, and you're going to download it. Once you download the driver, the way I do it at least is I try to install it and once I try to install it I wait for it to fail once it it tries to install it'll extract all the files usually to um, NVIDIA and afterwards let me see if I can find it I don't really remember where it is but I think it's NVIDIA and then you'll see the 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 path that it extracts to. So I copy it before I click on cancel or on OK. I copy all the files and paste them somewhere else. If not, I think you can just extract it uh, from the own installer. So once you have your files, which should look like this, um, modded drivers, it should look like this, the folder. Once you have it, you go and uh, you're going to modify, here we go, you're going to modify the NVDMI, here you go, NVDMI, uh, okay, so once you open this, this is what you're going to do, we go to device manager, once you're in device manager, you're going to go to your video card and go to properties, go to details, go to hardware IDs. So this is going to be my hardware ID. This 1BA1 is basically my video card, which is the 1070, which is in an Alienware M17XR4, which is the 057B. So what I usually do is I open another window so I can modify this, but let's just use it like that for demonstration purposes. So what we want to do here on the NVDMI file is that you're going to go to File, to Edit, sorry, and Find. And what you are going to want to do is find the 11A0, which is the GTX 680. All right, so find next, and here they are. See, all of these are the same video card on different computers. So this is the 11AO, the GTS 680, on a 0580 computer, which I don't know which one it is. But at least mine, my computer is a 057B. You can check it right here on my hardware ID. And over here we can see the 057B so my computer came with a GTX 680 M so it's already here pre-configured for it to be able to install if your computer is not here the driver will not let you install it because it'll say well this video card does not match that computer so it's, I'm not going to install it so here's the thing what you need to do is copy your device Devices number, which should be this this one, and you are going to choose any of the files that have the same video card that you're going to use. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm going to use the 0550. So what we do is we click on Edit, Replace, 
0550 and I'm going to replace it in my case with the 057B okay let's do it caps 057B so you're gonna find next replace you see that it already jumped to the next one replace and you're gonna keep on clicking replace until it replaces everything the thing is you need to replace the strings in every single um, for every single operating system so you see how over here it says for the AMD 64 but if you go upwards a little bit more you're gonna see here it's for another one and you're just gonna see this this list repeating itself basically uh, but for different operating systems so if you scroll down damn it here you're gonna see another one see that if you scroll down you're gonna see another one and so forth so you need to replace you need to put your address in every single operating system there you go here's the other one see that so it's easier if you just click on uh, replace and then just replace and replace and replace and replace until it says I cannot find any other one once you've done that you're gonna click on edit find and you're gonna click you're gonna write strings it's gonna find this there you go strings this is the only other step that you're gonna do and I like to keep my stuff ordered so I usually go where the NVIDIA GTX 1070 is at which is the one that I have on my 10 on my Alienware here and I write this one's mine so I write my model exactly what's here you see NVIDIA exactly the two numbers this and this so this is for my computer you're gonna obviously write whatever you have in your computer and now that you understand what it means it's just more of a common sense thing so now you're gonna save this you're gonna save this NVIDIA DMI file and once you save it you can't install it yet you're gonna go to this is an easier way to show and illustrate with one hand you're gonna go to update and security recovery and then you're gonna click on advanced setup and here in advanced setup you're gonna click on restart now that way you choose the option to install drivers that are not verified so when you click on and restart now let's give it a second here you go we are going to click on troubleshoot and then advanced options and then see more recovery options and then startup settings and then restart so once your computer restarts you're gonna click on number seven on your keyboard disable driver signature so you click on driver on number seven and it's gonna start and then you can actually install your driver and it'll install uh, with no problem or at least it should now once it's installed what you should do and I think this works uh, as I said I don't have a clear right now and I'm very very sleep deprived um, what you can do is just copy that NVDMI in file and when you drive another when you download another driver just paste it or or either just do the whole replacement thing again I'm not hundred percent sure if that's gonna work but hopefully uh, that helps you now you can finish it and it's been nine minutes so I don't know why anyone hasn't like people haven't made a guide for that because really the the tutorials online are very confusing they're not i mean not very confusing but they just don't ex really explain what's going on i guess um but yeah hope this helps and let me know in the comments cool